to cut myself on this life for you people to see that I actually have blood in my veins and I'm, I'm not some like I don't know weird alien thing we are people we are people people say they do not trust issues from PTSD from bad relationships I got PTSD trust issues from the reality that comes with being who I am simply that I'm a blind being um, of course, my parents did not give me that name, but I prefer that I, you know, I feel more myself in that name or with that name. I come from two parents who are very black. <laughs> I don't have Caucasian, Irish, American, or whatever in any of my lineage. I am purely 100% African. I'm not a public figure, no. I'm more of a, a model slash actor slash to be musician. Or should I say already musician? <laughs> Working on that department. makes it like a more like a hashtag a me too thing you know maybe this is me I'm sorry if I offend anyone out there who feels saying person without me is in is legit is right is cool that's them me call me albino hey I'm glad you need the albino right I just got done with school I studied French and Spanish love languages uh, I already spoke French French was actually my first language okay? and then I learned English I was born in school I was born in Spanish I prefer Spanish and French compared to other languages local languages I speak Ewe I speak Chi a little bit of Ga I'm not going to brag on that I don't know how to speak I don't know how to Okay, so what I just said was, I mean, it's like I just got out of school, I do a couple of things, and among them is also singing. Not only did music or my voice, my singing, my love for music rescue me a lot of times. It's it's the thing that keeps me going. You know, keeps me going. It's the thing that I always get back to. Music got me back to to focus. You know, it brought me back to sanity. Oh sanity is the word I've been looking for. So here's the the other side of being an albino okay it's not always so confident it's not always so i've got this i walk into the room i snatch up the energy you know 
you know, to, to get to that point, um, it took some breaking many, many times, you know, it took insults, rejection. And when I say rejection, this is not the, oh, we will call you back. This is the get the f out of here. We don't want you. This is the, no, I'm not going to sit next to you because you're different. This is the, uh, you know, <laughs> I think the looks at it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is a, uh, oh, uh, well, we just forgot to invite you. We didn't, we didn't think you would want to go. Why wouldn't I want to go? It's a party. Who doesn't like a party? <laughs> you know, to be aware and to deal with so much pressure, intimidation, rejection, so much negative energy, let's just put it like that, at a really young age. You know, it grows you up. It, it makes a grown up out of you. You were so advanced uh, over your peers, not because you want it, but that's just how it is for you, you know? And having to realize all that, because I wasn't always so positive. What would you have done with this? Wow, drugs. Because I'll tell you one thing, your mind can take just so much. Your heart can take just so much. You know, people run to sports. People run to relationships, sex. I'm not a very run to relationship person. I've tried that. I did. They didn't work. You know, I, I, I come out even more screwed than I went in. It's been a while, I'm not who I was before. Said you look surprised, your words don't burn me anymore. I've been in a tear. Right now, the person with like, say, optimum, optimum success in music, um, after the great James Brown, Michael Jackson, is Beyonce. I know great people have come and gone, or whatever, but Beyonce has been in this game for what, two decades? I don't know, but she's been in here for a long, long time, you know, and her art keeps improving. That's something that I want. I don't, I'm not saying I want to be Beyonce. I'm saying I want to be better. I love Beyonce. I would not kill for her, no. I'm not one of the crazy beehive people, but I, I greatly admire her. The person I'll probably stab someone over for is Rihanna. <laughs> She's my, listen, there is nothing that music can't fix. It took a brave, brave There was always one guy in the house of the point, one or two guys in the house of the point, but the majority were women, you know, business women, um, strong women, very strong women, you know, who taught us how to be strong without telling us this is how you, you know, you do it, this is how you, you, you get strength, you know, they just did it in front of us. And I say it again, we will not beg to be protected because we have the right to be protected. We will not beg to have justice if there's something done to us because we have earned it just by being citizens of this country. I'll give blame to the newscaster. Who did a very wrongful presentation of a very delicate information? Oh, don't be surprised. Say so you look surprised. Who are your favorite people? Myself. I mean, have you met me? 